So guys, I'm back again with the second video for today. This time I added my little face because early in the morning I wasn't <laughs> camera ready, so to speak. But uh, remember a while ago, they asked Ray Lewis, um, you know, what did he like about playing linebacker and what made him successful. And one of the things he talked about was having uh, Tony Saracusa in front of him, being able to eat up blocks and let him, you know, roam free. And that's one of the things C.J. Mosley, uh, he kind of inherited with uh, Brandon Williams and, and Michael Pierce. So we did a Pierce video last week or the week before last. Today we're going to bring you Michael Pierce and five good plays with Michael Pierce against Cleveland Browns. Here we go. Now starting off this first play, let's get right into it. Gap control. And you'll see these from the all 22, but you get a better view of them when we look at them from the uh, the behind the behind the, the line view, the back view, so to speak. All right. Here's Brandon right here playing in the one technique. And, you know, pre-snap looked like he had to control his A-gap. And, you know, as long as he controls his A-gap, when the ball cuts back to him, he should make the tackle. Got leverage, got leverage, head in the gap, head in the gap, outside on free, make the tackle. Textbook, textbook, let's go back to it. Let's go back to it. Get my mouth straight. All right, here we go. One tech, backside of the play. Just stay in your gap and don't overrun it. Stay in your gap, don't overrun it. Get that outside shoulder free, just in case the ball shows up. And the ball shows up. It's textbook. Control your gap. Ball shows up, make the tackle. Make the tackle. Good job. Let's go on to the next play. Solo tackle at that. All right. He's in one technique again. I got cross face at the bottom, and you'll see why when we see the back view. But he crawled, you know, he made that tackle. He was in on that tackle. Maybe he got half credit for that tackle. Let's see what cross face is. So he's the one technique sitting right here, right here in this gap. So pre-snap looks like he's going to have this A gap because he's slightly inside of this guard. Ball snapped. And he tried. they try to down block him, so they're pulling. Uh, you know, the, the guard, the center gets good leverage on him, but instantly, watch what happens. Look at his head. Got on the other side. That's a no-no if you're down blocking. And if you watched uh, some of my films from last year when we talked about us you know, running the counter and whatnot, letting the guy cross face you is a no-no on the down block. So he gets leverage, out leveraged by the center. I realize, okay, the ball going the other way, I got to get there. Whatever move he is, I can't see it because of the way the camera is. If it was reversed, I maybe could. But his head instantly goes to the other side, and now he's in pursuit. And now he's in pursuit. Still running, still running, big man running down the line, find the ball. Cross face, lead that guard, lead the center there, go chase the ball down. Now, let me let you see it in live action from this view. Other side, chase the ball. Hey, have a have a tackle. Have a tackle. Him and uh look like Levine there. So this third play. And I got um let's see what I got for my notes on this one. Attacking double teams, which is you know one of the main reasons he's there. He takes up a lot of double teams, and you don't see a lot of them in this video, but he takes up a lot of double teams, and Michael Pierce and those linebackers get to eat. So this is what, um, this is what he does. He attacks the double team. He just just doesn't let them take him and move him out of there. Now, in the, in the olden days, <laughs> coaches used to tell you, like, if you get a double team to grab grass and hit the ground and just create a pile. Nowadays, they're trying to uh, get you to, to get your shoulder turned, so to speak. So you can split it and then kind of, you know, control where you're trying to go. But in back in the old, old days, they would tell you to grab grass and just make a pile if you get double team. Shade in the center. That's the double right there. Now he's going to – this guy's actually going to try to double and come off. But right now, Brandon's attacking this guy and trying to get that right shoulder through. You can kind of see him kind of dip a little bit. Right here, why it's, why it's paused, but that's that's the purpose. Now he's in a struggle. He's losing right now. Now he's winning. Now so now he's gonna turn into a solo block. He can defeat those all day. 
So basically what he did here was he controlled the point. Control the point of attack. Let's see if they moved him. So the the center's foot is on that line. Let's see how much they moved Brandon Williams, if they moved him at all. Maybe a half a yard back. Maybe. Maybe a half a yard back, and he made the tackle. So that's good, controlling the point. Because, you know, really, if this is some kind of zone-type deal, the back is kind of reading that uh, one technique. If he don't get any movement, he got to stay play side, and everybody else held that gap. So that's a great job. Now look. Now look at look at C.J. Mosley on this play. And Kenny Young, for that matter. Neither one of them are touched. Neither one of them are not touched now, but look at the pile that's created. That's all because Brandon Williams held that point. All right, moving on to the next play. Destroying solo blocks. That's my notes for this one. One guy can't block him. But one guy's not going to block him most of the time. And you saw it, you know, from, from this view. Look at the, um, I think this is the center. Let me see. That's the guard. The guard tries to scoop block him and ends up getting scooped. And you'll see how violent that is when we get to the back view of it. You can, you can get a whole, whole head snap by that by that guard because he's getting pressed up out of there. Boop. Now, uh, uh, another terminology I used to hear a lot um, with D-line coaches was uh, change the line of scrimmage. So, again, let's look at the – this guard is maybe, maybe a, a yard on the other side of this line. When he meets Pierce, what, let's see how far back he goes. One, two, almost three yards back, which now puts the running back in a predicament. Now puts the running back in a predicament. Look at that. That's how, that's how you don't let a guy block you. And, you know, any kind of run game is killed by penetration. d line get penetration, any run game is almost non-existent. Now, he still gets some yards on this simply because C.J. Mosley doesn't fit his right hole. If Mosley fits to his left, because see, this is an open gap right here. If Mosley fits right here, because he, Brandon really has this gap. He's just destroying this, this guard so so well. If Mosley fits up in here, this is a tackle for a loss or, or no gain. But it is what it is. Brandon still recognizes, still hustling down the line, still hustling down the line. Sees the guy sprint through and he makes the tackle. I'll take that any day. That's like a two-yard game. We'll take that. Now it's second and eight. All right. And to, to culminate this, I think this is the last play. Got a sack. Now, I'm going to let this run before I talk about it. Just let it go. And it's, for some strange reason, my computer slowed this play down. But this is the play I really want to be full speed because you can see the quickness when you get to the back view of this. Here's Brandon right here. And one tech again. One tech again. How he crossed his face that fast. How he crossed the center's face. It's like instantly, almost like he teleported to the other side of the center. <laughs> center leans to the left. He crossed him over just that fast. It's almost like uh, when me and Tobias talk about giving somebody the pat paps. <laughs> Real quick. Now, nah, just drive. Just drive. Anytime you get a sack from a D lineman, that's extra. Well, interior D lineman, that's extra. That's icing on the cake. Because your sack's going to come from, from these edge guys or these linebackers blitzing. Or maybe a nickel guy blitzing. But you get a sack from up in here, from like an Urban or a Pierce or a Williams, that's extra icing on the cake because their job is to push the pile up the middle so the quarterback don't have anywhere, have anywhere to step up. He did a great job of that. And he embarrassed the center on this play. This, I, I wish it wasn't slowed down so much. This, this quickness is, is amazing for a guy this big. Because once you get that, that rip and you can kind of get that shoulder through, if he doesn't hold you, you pretty much got free reign the quarterback. And this is borderline holding. Borderline. Because borderline. right now he's beat. He's beat. He, he's open. He's unhinged the gate. Look at the, the his hips. He's unhinged the gate. So all Brandon has to do now is just, just drive, drive, drive to the quarterback. And the secondary did a good job of holding whatever coverage they were in. Baker didn't have a chance to get it out good. 
Again, guys, this is uh, Coach Evan. We did a, this is Brandon Williams' video. Uh, he's part of the complete defensive line package we have with him, Pierce, and you know the, the edge guys are the question mark. The interior we got, uh, but it's gonna be a fight between him. I would say Brandon Williams, Pierce probably gonna start, but the two guys behind them, I don't think gonna be pretty bad. Also, and right now you got uh, Wormley, I think. Uh, I don't can't remember if Urban's still on the squad. Then you got your two rookies. You got. Um, Mac and Willis. And again, I've said it all ever since we picked him up right after the draft. Joe Willis is going to make this team. So, you know, he's the, the UDFA that's going to make the team that I'm pretty confident about. And a lot of stuff started happening. I, I think practice starts tomorrow, which is Wednesday. I think, you know, if we get any footage, we'll, you know, break that down and put it out there. And uh, don't forget about the live stream tonight, you guys. You know, the number will be out. I'll put it out, you know, on YouTube. And you call in, we can talk Ravens football. All right, this is Coach Evans again. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit Teespring for merch, and I'm out.